guys, what's poppin'? My name is Logan, and today's video will be a few clips from the studying I did over winter break. And as of when I'm recording this voiceover, I actually just started school a few days ago, and I'm really excited to get back in a routine. Winter break is really hard for me because I have a difficult time adjusting to not being in school. I really enjoy studying and the structure that a school schedule gives me and knowing what time to be doing certain things. So when school ends and that's taken away from me, I try my best to find other ways to keep myself occupied and making my own schedule. During break, I focused on finishing a free Harvard online class that I was taking on bioethics, doing some shadowing for pre-med through Medical School HQ, creating Anki flashcards for last semester's biology since I didn't really get the chance to do it while I was in the class, trying to improve my typing speed, and overall just trying to get it together before the next semester starts. During this week, I was preparing for my job interview with Scribe America and I was looking up some basic scribing interview questions that have been asked in the past so that I have a decent idea of what they might ask me and how I would respond. But in the end, they actually only ended up asking me a few questions about where I went to school and what my goals were in the future. And as of right now, they're getting my job profile together before I can start training, but I'm really excited to be working in a hospital soon and getting to know more medical professionals.
The main class that I was focusing on during break was finishing a bioethics class that I started a few months ago on Harvard X, which is free through edX. And I was on the last unit, which was about human-animal hybrids and the control and ownership of human tissues and genetic information. And this was the unit that I was honestly most excited for. The idea of human-animal hybrids definitely turns heads and makes you wonder who would ever think that's a good idea. But human and animal hybrids isn't just a stereotypical chimera of a half human and half animal. Not all human animal hybrids are creations by some mad scientists who want to create humans with animal characteristics. And while that is sometimes the case, more known examples of human animal hybrids would be the human neuron mouse and Jesse Helms. The human neuron mouse isolated human brain stem cells that were made from the neuron and glial cells of the human brain and were used to study brain diseases such as Alzheimer's. Jesse Helms, who is another example of a human-animal hybrid, received a pig valve replacement heart, and once the tissues were removed from the animal, it was chemically treated to preserve that tissue and prevent immunologic reactions when it was transplanted into the patient, giving them a healthy functioning heart to use. One thing that this class pointed out was the distinct difference between types of hybrids that make humans nervous versus the types that don't. A majority of people don't find anything wrong with using something like a pig heart valve to keep a human being alive, but when animals start representing humans too much, that's when people become scared and a little too overwhelmed with moral confusion. This class really delved into a lot of questions regarding rational reasoning, the ability to feel pain, human species versus non-human species, and different reasons why someone might want to create a chimera in the first place. Because I'm planning on becoming a scribe, one thing that I really wanted to work on during the break was trying to improve my typing speed. When I started on this practice, I had an average about 80 words per minute, and I got it up to an average of 90 as of right now, but my goal is to really give it over 100, and I just think it would be so cool, but it's really hard to break that cap. I think that being able to type fast is a very underrated skill, and when you're copying notes from a textbook or trying to record notes in a lecture, it definitely comes in handy when you can do it faster than slower.
Normally, I like to talk a lot during my voiceovers, but I decided to try mixing it up and cutting it down just a little bit, especially when the study with me is more chill, stay at home, just do a little bit of work here and there, rather than something like my EMT study with me, where I really like to give a lot of advice and go into detail. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a good feel of whether viewers prefer me talking a lot or if you like a mix between talking and just some calm music. I know that I personally prefer voiceovers because it feels like I'm getting to hear about somebody else's day, but every now and again, I do enjoy watching the study with me's or the study vlogs or just somebody doing their work with a nice time lapse and soft music to it. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.